Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video I would like to share with you all the front side of our cottage. It has been a moment since we have been out here up front and I just would really like to share all the many changes that have been taking place. Uh, now today I will be sharing a custom window box that my husband actually put together for me and this is the first window box that he has ever made and you know i told him give yourself 10 pats on the back not one but 10 because he did a fabulous job now there was a gentleman that you know we received his name and number that we kept calling because he did say that he would build us a flower box but i guess he just plain and simple felt like being rude and not return our phone calls so we were like okay well that's okay so my husband just went out and he purchased his tools and and um it gave him a reason to go out there and purchase all these tools but anyhow he put together this wonderful flower box that i'm getting ready to share so that being said let's begin shall we So here's one of his new tools, his table saw, that he used to put together the window box. He used a couple of saw horses. This helped him, um, of course, stabilize the wood. Or actually, I should say the, the PVC boards. We have adhesive, we have different types of bolts. drill bits for the concrete, although he did not need those. And the, these two right here were the fasteners that were used to hold the box together and the drill bits that were used. And here we have the PVC board and the trim. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the PVC. It is more costly than other wood. But because we are over here, we get quite a bit of rain, humidity. I wanted to make sure that this box basically lasts for many, many years. Um, that's what's great about using the PVC over regular wood. You don't have to worry about all the wood rotting, it falling apart, um, because this box is pretty substantial in size. Okay, so, oop. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I didn't want just, this is the front portion of the box, which is six feet long. So 
I wanted to add some serious drama to the front of the window. But because we're in the cottage, I did not want just a flat piece of wood. Therefore, I had my husband make three separate um, strips of wood up front. And then you can see with the with other cuts of the PVC, he stabilized the boards. And then he added the side and the back, making sure that I have three separate cuts of wood. So this piece right here, it's just, um, it's the bottom and it, he just pretty much just placed this whole piece, um, on. He didn't have to do three separate cuts. Sorry, the camera's just kind of, kind of all over the place right now. Okay, so here we have the... It's not completely finished, but this is the basically the base structure of the box. We have the three cuts up front, back, and the sides, and the wood on the inside to stabilize it. You can see all the little nail holes, but no worry, we are about to plug those up. And we have three different compartments. We had placed wood and it could have been a T bar, but you know, we, we just placed it one going solid to help support the box for it not to collapse in. But now he's making the cut for the trim because I want the finished look. And he did this. I mean, no, uh, this is completely custom. There was no, um, he didn't go by anything, but the look of, of how we wanted it to be. And here is the trim going all around the top and the bottom. And then even on the corners right here, we added um, some finished trim as well. Now on the, the, the corners, this trim, we just used some adhesive to hold the trim onto the corners. Okay, now we're ready to start painting and we didn't have to take this particular set step because of the paint we're using, but we went ahead and applied some of the kills anyways. Now time for the pretty paint. This is Fine Paints of Europe. Absolutely gorgeous. It just candies. It's any color from this company is just incredibly beautiful. And we're using black. And why are we using black? Because it brings that dramatic effect out. And I just wanted to add in some drama to my front yard. And just look at this. This gloss is fabulous. Now we will be going in between the boards and painting in uh, the white that you are still seeing with a small, fine brush. So 
so the measurements of this box, again, I wanted drama. So it is six feet wide, long, it is 15, and deep, it is 12. And just look, my husband, he's so good. And I told him, since you did such a fabulous job, we have many other windows going around the cottage that we will be placing these planter boxes underneath. Okay, now we're going to switch. We're going to switch gears a little bit. We use the same paint on our sunroom door because our front door is black. So we wanted this door, which was white, to, or was it yellow? I think it was yellow, to match the front door. And again, this paint just leaves that candied look. And look, what a difference between the yellow door and this black one. I'm a happy, happy girl over here. You know, it's, little by little we're getting there, but the important thing is to always enjoy just how you are moving along, whether you're allowed to go quickly or not. Just enjoy the process. And look, all my little friends, look at them all. They're everywhere. They're seeing changes that are taking place here at the cottage. And they're like, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing over there? As I started working outside, they all came over here. Now, this is just magical. Completely magical. And this is what I mean. When you are doing something in your home and you are absolutely enjoying the progress all this beautiful unexpected nature just comes in and greets you just life is filled with so many surprises we just never know what is going to come our way next Okay, so now these are the shelf brackets. And my husband actually, okay, these are the concrete anchors because we're, we are having to drill through stone. And so he built up the brackets so that the box would um, be very stable because it's go, this is going to be very heavy once all the soils in there and the different planters and I mean plants and he used the PVC board again on this and here she sits all gorgeous Anchors are in, the box is secure. Now up at top, we will be adding more. Not, I don't, I'm not sure about window boxes, we'll see. But this is the first step um, in front of our house. And again, this is six feet wide. I had to cut down my Gilder Rose bushes so that the box could be displayed. And I have to admit, I like them at this shorter height. So I have some of the soil actually already placed in. I'm using the miracle Grow, the potting mix. And the meter over to the side, well, no worries. We'll have that covered with something pretty um, in no time.
Okay, so here, you know, we're at the end of July, going into August. Before we know it, temperatures are going to start going down. So I'm just placing in a couple ferns, some coleus, some begonia, some uh, golden child ivy and sedum. So these are all plants that, um, because everything is trial and error right now for me, because I'm new to planting in this zone. I'm used to doing my, my planting in California. So these should take me through until the weather starts getting around, oh, 50 degrees or lower at night. So into October. So I decided to place the ferns on the left and right hand side and look at this sedum oh it's a gorgeous gorgeous i'm trying to look around to share the name with you all and i continue to forget it is lemon lemon something sedum but the color is spectacular up against the black And just ignore that happy, dirty hand that you see coming in front of the screen. I'm so happy with my hands in the dirt. <laughs> okay, next up we are going to add in some of the begonias. So this is a wax begonia because this box will be receiving direct sunlight for the majority of the day and the wax begonias can handle the sunlight. So these will actually be moving up front. And then I have another just a different uh, shade of a green, bringing in that um, the lighter lime green color with the dark green. So I placed that one in back of the sedum. And I like just the different variation and the variations going on with the greens. And now to add in some height. And we are going to achieve that by adding in the coleus. Now this one really loves to go wild. Oops, look, I almost dropped it. <laughs> so the begonias, again, I moved them up front and I'm adding the coleus in the back for the height. I don't want them to cover too much of my begonia. So that's why I push them forward. And then of course, we're just keeping the other sedum as is. And here is another uh, coleus, not as much green, um, but it's still very much so present. We have some wine, some raspberry, some wine color. And it's just going to work beautifully with the red begonia. So all the coleus is placed in. Now to add in, again, ignore that happy, dirty hand. It's so very happy. But I'm going to now um, add in a little bit of a character up front. And 
and I will be placing in some gold child ivy because a planter box should always have some golden ivy coming out of it, something cascading down from the window box. And I have been wanting to build one of these for years, but we've always been renters, so I was never able to. And I'm so happy this has finally um, come about. Now this, we took the shovel and dug this pretty thing up out of the ground because it will go mad. It will just grow everywhere. Now, when you first take it out of the ground and you put it in um, a flower box, it does droop for like the first week, but no worries. And as you can see, storms are coming in. We have quite a bit of new builds going on around us. 